Okay, well, what we're going to do here real quick is just do a quick demonstration of Oracle Streams uh, sharing data from an older 10201 database to a newer 11G uh, database, uh, 11201, uh, in fact. So um, what Streams allows us to do, Streams allows us to basically uh, capture changes at one database uh, and propagate those and apply those to a target database. So what you'll notice is I have the streams management consoles open for both my databases. So I have my 10G database over here, as well as my 11G database over here. Um, and my 10G database is my source, so it's going to be doing the capturing and the propagation. And then over at my 11G database, it is actually going to be doing the application of those, those changes, essentially subscribing to the changes that happen at my source. Right, so uh, if you have further questions or want to know how streams works and all that other good stuff, feel free to shoot me an email and I can give you a, a lot of in-depth information. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take a look at my table that I'm replicating. And the table that I'm replicating is pretty simple. It's basically called test. Um, and it's basically a mirror copy of the scott.int table. So um, that is at my, my source site, which is my 10G database. Now if I go over to my target type, uh, site and do a description of that table as well. You'll notice that both tables mirror each other exactly. Um, they don't have to with streams. You can drop columns, you can change users, change schemas, all this very kind of elegant, cool things you can do uh, as the data is in flight as well. So you can do ETL on the fly. Uh, we're not doing that. We're just basically doing a simple, you know, if something's over here, push it over here. So, right. So let's go ahead and insert some data into the source table. So insert into test select star from scott.amp, right? So we have 14 rows created. So, um, oh, I should have showed you how many rows were there before. So let's go ahead and select count from test. So now there's 84 rows in there. Let's go ahead and commit those guys. And let's just go ahead and do a select count from test. Uh, 84 records in there, select count from test, 84 records in there, right? So everything's, everything that's, you know, our sanity check, we're, we have 84 in both, no smoke and mirrors going on here. So let's go ahead and insert some new, some new data once again. Insert into uh, test, select star from Got, got him. Right. So select count. Let's see how many records we have in there. From test. All right. So we have 98 records. Right. So let's go over to our target database and see how many records we have in the target. So select count from test. And oops, we only have 84. Difference of what? 14. The reason that is is I have yet to commit the insert. So standard Oracle stuff, I can, you know, if I don't insert um, or if I don't commit, rather, I can always roll back, stuff like that. Standard Oracle technologies that were actually, that's actually in play here that Streams um, basically uh, uh, uses as well. So if I go ahead and I issue a commit and I do a select count from test, You'll notice that there's still 98 records in there as well. Um, and now if I do the same select count, test, 98 records in there as well. So what we've basically done here is a real quick demonstration of sharing information from an older 10G database, replicating database uh, information from an older 10G database um, you know, my 10G database over here into my newer 11G database. What this allows us to do now with streams is real quickly out of the box allows us to go, um, it allows us to do a real quick migration strategy, parallel migration strategy where I can have this older database still in production receiving information and then I can switch over to my newer database um, when I need to. Um, and if I'm using streams, I can replicate the entire database, I can replicate uh, specific schemas or I can replicate just specific tables if I want to as well. So any questions or, or concerns or, or uh, need further information, feel free to shoot me an email. My email is Matthew, M-A-T-T, 
dot demarco uh, or uh, actually matthew m a t t h e w dot demarco d e m a r c o at oracle dot com. Thanks.